This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing a live commentary game. I'm going to be going back to my roots a bit of how I used to do these, uh, as far as how they're structured, uh, whereas I don't waste time in the beginning of the videos doing all that sort of stuff. So I'm playing against Connor Moto, is his username, and he's from my Discord chat, so that should be pretty easy to, uh, to deal with as far as uh, finding competent people to play, because that's the entire purpose of having the, uh, the Discord exist. But, so he's playing a Laster, and he's done this Wonder Wand nonsense. Okay, uh, I'm going to use his Max C uh, when he uses his uh, Eidolon Summoning Magic, or his Invocation, rather, just because I want to get a I want to get a 1 for 1 out of it. If he had an Ice Bell, it would have come down now. I don't know if he's playing Invoked Wind Witch, uh, but I've seen Invoked cards. So, we'll see what happens here. Now, I... Okay, he's playing... Wow, okay. Well, Cyframe. A Cyframe Driver is not what I expected to see. I wonder if he's playing the Gamma engine of just like Gammas plus Cyframes to negate monster effects or if he's doing something a little bit more different in scope. Uh, but let's see here. What I've got access to is this can banish cards. So what I want to be able to deal with here, um, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, um, it can special summon one from graveyard. So it's not going to be doing anything here. Uh, but this card is pretty good as far as what I'm capable of doing in theory. Uh, I think I just need to activate this. Uh, no, I'll activate Fire King Island. Uh, we'll see what happens if I activate this. If he just negates it with uh, the Merkaba, then that would be just great for me. Otherwise, I might have to bank on this strike dealing with the Merkaba. Uh, specifically in some form of, like, <laughs> some form or some fashion. The thing is, is I can't normal summon this and then activate the onslaught, which is what I want to do. I want to put this on the board and then onslaught, uh, so that like my opponent can't. Um, well, no, so it doesn't even matter. What am I thinking? Um, I'm thinking too uh, non non linearly in terms of how this deck is played, and that's that's definitely the the wrong way to be thinking about it. And so I'm gonna summon this, uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use Fire King Island to pop this search for Barong. Normal summon my uh, my Ganesha, and then we should be good. We should be good to go. And even if we're out, if we aren't, we've got the uh, Solemn Strike to back up the uh, the play string that we can work with. Because this is dying at the end of the turn anyway. I know that he has a Laster in his hand, uh, so just all this sort of stuff is uh, what we want to be messing with. Now, I can normal summon this and leave this in hand. Uh, this can pop cards in hand. Let me just uh, yeah, in your control or in your hand. Uh, so I'm not going to risk special summoning it and have the Merkaba negate it. Uh, I'm just going to set these cards, normal summon my uh, my Ganesha, and end my turn. Because what this allows me to do is that this can negate the uh, the Merkaba as soon as uh, the Garunix tries to either come out, or if it does come out, uh, it'll be a fine bit of negation uh, for the possible play line. Uh, and now if he uses the Merkaba in any way, to, uh, to deal with uh, the stuff coming back, then I will just get this free Barong coming out of the graveyard as well. So, that's good to know. Uh, so we'll do this. Uh, this can negate the Merkaba. Uh, he's discarded in a Laster. I'll destroy the Barong in hand. The, the uh, Garunix comes out. Garunix blows up the board. And then the Ganesha allows me to special summon the Barong, and it will die at the end of the turn anyway. Uh, and then I've got this Circle of the Fire Kings, which I can use to cycle back for Ganesha. Uh, this deck really is really interesting in terms of how it plays with like um, like just being really sort of controlly in a sense. I'm gonna go ahead and strike this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on him needing another copy of Invocation in order to keep plays going. And I'm gonna start holding down A uh, because depending on what he does, I'm going to be using Circle of the Fire Kings to make one of these dodge an effect uh, per se, or just to reload the uh, the Garunix. For, uh, for potential use later. So he's instant fusioning for the uh, Rydeen. So that's cool. Um, hmm. Interesting choice. Now I've got this rekindling here. 
which can be used. So he's using it to flip it face down just so it doesn't die off instant fusion. So that's, that's the extent of his play. Okay, so striking there was so, so relevant and so good. Now, what I get to do here is I've got Coach King Wolfbark, or Coach Soldier Wolfbark. That's incredible. Uh, the Barong here gets to get a search. I've already got a circle of the Fire Kings, so I'm probably just going to search for another copy of Barong. Uh, because what I can do is I can start stacking things up. I can use Coach Soldier Wolfbark to bring back uh, the Ganasha. Yeah, we'll just get Barong. Uh, if I can, can I search Barong? No, I can't. I have to search a different card. That's right. Uh, but I can bring that Barong back from Grave off popping this from hand. Um, I can pop Garunix out of my hand and start establishing that as a play line, which in fact might be exactly what happens. Uh, because I think I can just kill him. Because this is 24, so this attacks over that. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I've got Rekindling as well, so I can make a rank 4. Uh, and then Rekindling all my stuff back. Neat. Alright, so yeah, we'll just do this. This is just the play line that we're going to go down. Uh, but So this will bring back the Barong... And what I'm going to do is end up making something like Castell. Uh, or I can make Tornado Dragon. Tornado Dragon's a bit bigger, so we'll just go with that. Uh, I only really want to detach one anyway, so I don't really personally care about it. Uh, but So we'll detach Barong to pop this. And now what I have access to is I can use the Fire King Island to pop this Garunix out of my hands. And then it will come back to the field off of my, uh, off of my Ganesha. So yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll be able to also add Barong from my deck to hand. Um, interesting. Well, that's a that's a, that's a a change I wasn't expecting in terms of... I wasn't expecting to get Ash Blossomed, but I fucking guess. Uh, so we'll summon these two. And what I can do is I can then attack with them and I can circle the Fire Kings uh, into another card, potentially. No, I actually can't because I need to overlay into something or get rid of... This needed to be Castell. I was right the first time. I needed to put the, the wolf bark in my grave so I could revive it with Circle of the Fire Kings. God damn it. <laughs> well then, uh, it's fine. This is still an effect negator, so this is fine as is, uh, but it's not game this turn because I lost sight of my goal and how to structure it. So, whoops, but it's still fine. I'm in the lead in card advantage. I've got an effect negator. Uh, I can rotate a card out to dodge, uh, like, uh, like targeting and stuff like that in the form of this. Um, I've got multiple ways to trigger a lot of different things, which is very good. Wait a minute. I could have made Gaga -Ga Samurai done 200 more. Not relevant. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was thinking for a second, I was like, wait, I just absolutely screwed the pooch on this one, didn't I? Oh my god, I forgot! No, I got banished! <laughs> No, shit, I forgot that's what our kindling does. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, we're just going to activate this Tornado Dragon and pop this. So now uh, Circle of the Fire King can bring back the Wolf Bark. God damn it. I suck dick. I suck dick at this game. Good thing that that literally ended his turn. <laughs> oh, my. Um, I didn't expect that in the slightest. But we'll just do this, and we will pop this, and we'll search for Barong. This Barong should be able to be special summoned if I use... Circle of the Fire Kings here to bring back the Wolf Bark. The Barong could be special summoned, or I could just bring back the uh, the Garunix, or I could just attack for game because he's literally at 1300. So I have no idea what specifically his deck is. I guess I literally have to call it uh, Invoked Cyframe because that's all I saw. All I saw was Cyframe cards. Uh, that's that's this yeah this is Graveyard. I saw a Cyframe card and I saw Invoked. Is he playing Invoked Wind Witch Cyframe? I'm not sure. Luckily, I have him in the Discord chat, so I can literally just ask him. Uh, but anyway, so this has been just one quick game with this deck. Uh, this deck is really interesting in terms of how it can function uh, with Ganasha if you're not playing like an absolute retard like I just did. Uh, but hey, that's what you get when you get these live dual commentary games. I think they're a bit more entertaining because I do just make mistakes because my mindset gets split in terms of gotta say things, gotta try and play. Uh, so using two different mental faculties there, but anyway, I do plan on doing more dual videos because people seem to miss them on the channel uh, So I plan on doing more live dual commentary simply because they get a little bit more in-depth discussion about the thing You get less games seen from me playing the deck, but the games go by slower You see more in-depth thought process you get more thoughts on things happening stuff like that So it's probably gonna be the way things go well into the future But anyway as always guys, thanks for watching Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below if you like this game if you like this deck If you have any suggestions for the deck all that sort of nonsense leave them in the comments down below But other than that 
The links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook page as well as my Patreon page if you want to support the channel directly and support something that you like, that you like seeing content from, or if you just want to support me as a creator, then you can go check out the Patreon page. There's certain reward tiers you might be interested in, like getting access to my personal Discord server, which is where Connor Moto came from, which is the place that I go to get people to play for games all the time. If I'm going to be doing dual videos in the future, it is where I'm going to continue to only get people from to play games with, stuff like that. So if you're interested, definitely go check that out. But if you just want to support the channel, even just as a small time thing, one dollar is a fantastic fantastic way to show your support and help some future projects that i've got planned come into fruition a bit faster than they would normally but other than that as always as i've already said thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual guys again let me know what your thoughts are and suggestions and all that stuff are in the comments down below if you want to see me play this deck more then definitely thumbs this video up give it a bunch of likes and if you're new here and you like what you see maybe consider subscribing as well but other than that that is it as i've already said for this video Take care, guys. I will see you in the next video.